What is up? We're back with another video, guys. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some bugs in iOS. So, I'm on the beta, the beta of. Oh, sorry, guys. One second. These days, real quick, going on. Oh, anyways, so what's up for today? Today's video is gonna be. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to. Or basic ios so look at this guys i had this in there and it was destroyed but it don't matter just up here it's gonna be right there i'll be right back i'm gonna go get an ipad os system i'll be right back okay guys so i got an ipad os device i'm just gonna stick it somewhere where you just see a bit of it okay perfect so here's my setup for today, guys. And we're gonna be explaining some bugs on the iOS 14 five, beta five, I think, or is it six? It's the most, today is G August 22nd, and I believe it's the beta five, maybe six. I think it's five. No, no, it's six, I think, guys, I think it's six. Just comment. Up. I don't know, guys. I don't remember. But anyway, we're gonna be figuring out the bugs. So I'm on the latest software as of August 22nd, and we're gonna see if this annoying bug still exists. Yep, it does. So let me tell you guys why this is why this is so annoying. So guess what? If I'm doing something import important, say, oh, there's a little battery. Just ignore the background noise, guys. Go out. Why are you in your video? But I'm gonna show mom that. Yeah. I'm gonna say it on the video too. You better run. I'm gonna show it. I'll let you in in 20 minutes or five minutes or a minute. Done. Sorry about that, guys. She's gonna have to wait for five minutes. So, this is annoying because say I'm doing some important work and I do this too quickly, I swipe up. And I go home or something like that. And maybe I'm doing this and I try and do it real fast. And we just run into an issue. That issue is where it, sometimes it will read it every time. It will do this. Every time it will. Now, I don't know why this persists. Now, next thing, I'm going to do a boot up test. So let's do it. We're going to do a power down on all these devices. So let's do it. Let's do this, and I'm going to get iPadOS out too, in the corner, and you're going to see the slide off menu. It's going to be a little hard too. So you can see I'm going to power them all down right now. They're all shutting off, powering down. I'm going to wait till all the screens just stop. They all go to where you can't see the, the LCD. This one is OLED, so it doesn't make a difference. And we're going to try and be the most accurate at this that I can, so just do this. Okay, that one's up. This one's sort of, I don't know, maybe the battery died. Okay, it looks like they're all booting right now equally. So we're gonna see what one boots up. First. So you guys will be able to see if this white screen comes off and if these two boot, you'll know. That one's first, iPad's first. This one's second. And iPhone 6 is third. So we got the passcode prompt on all the devices, which I think is kind of cool. I'm just going to enter that quick. Okay, we are unlocked. Let's do it on the iPad. Um, oh, different on the iPad. So we have all our devices unlocked. And I got a Wi-Fi calling prompt, even though I'm not signed in under the same ID. It's a little weird. We're done with iPad OS for now. And we know that's a bug. This is also a water damage issue. So you're seeing this on your fin. It's most likely going to be a water damage issue because I'm getting this Touch ID unavailable to activate. And if I go into my settings app, I go down. See, you can see my screen. It's slowly getting better, guys. But I don't know. Somehow, this was just like this one morning. And 
I don't know. That's weird. So, if I go down to... Wait, what was I even gonna... If we go down to the Touch ID area... And I think this is just a software bug, because... This usual... Usually never happened before the latest update on 12.4.8. So then this started happening on the 6 iPhone. And I noticed it's a little bit weird. So you can't even add a fingerprint. Now, I think this happened on older phones too. So this might be the issue with damage or just it is, you know, it could be anything. And guys, don't say it is because I don't have a password because it's not. You add a fingerprint, then you can input a password. If you need to look that up, go ahead. It's not worth me trying to do it all. So, there you go. This phone works awesome. Just one issue on the update or just the damage of that sensor in the, um, the home button. So, it's hard. It's getting me a hard time just to open up the camera application, okay? If we take a photo, the camera quality isn't that good. As you always can see, it's cuckold, blurled, blurled. Now, if I do it on the this phone, lagged a bit, but that's expected. If I take a photo, try and get it to zoom. Well, okay, so if I snap a photo, show you guys that photo. It's pretty clear, and that's not even rendered yet. Now it's rendered. So as you can see, that's very clear more compared to the obsidial picture on this phone. So, it's definitely a difference if I double click to zoom these phones. There's definitely a difference. So I'll zoom these out to the effect. That's it. Zoomed. Now we're just going to double click both on the dock. Now, this one's blurry, guys. So, let's just take that one out of the menu. Let's take one on the iPad really fast. Just quickly boop this one out of the menu. See, I got that Wi Fi calling notification. Let's just dismiss iPad, horrible or hor more horrible than the 6 even. So if I take these photos, zoom them all. Wow, this is horrible, guys. Didn't even correctly take a photo. Okay, here we go. So if I go in, and this one's already zoomed in enough. So precisely if I set this device on this device to view it, because I really can't and set this device up this device to view it. You can see there's so much more de detail on the newest iPhone right here. So this is the old OLED. So if we do dark mode, which we don't have on the 6, but this phone, when it's in dark mode, can blame compared to other devices. So that's one cool thing about this phone. And yeah, you might have noticed why I don't know as many bugs on the iPad OS, and that's just because I really don't use the iPad OS as much as, say, the iPhone OS, because I don't bring an iPad everywhere. Anyway, next bug would be when you're in a FaceTime call, and say, let's FaceTime our iPhone right here, and I'm just going to mute these so you guys don't hear some ruckus. That might be a little hard, so, okay. Now, now, you can see that black screen. Now, this is a bug, even with forward devices on your iOS 14 system because I figured I downgrade this and it doesn't do it. It constantly doesn't do it on the same network, same night, and then I upgrade it and it does it. So by the way, SE recorded, I'll make a bit about that, I'll record it on my 6 or 11. Then, this is pretty good, but sometimes this will happen on my device too. And this is something you really don't want at this time because really it's scary to think sometimes you cannot even get in contact with anyone in this time. So if I go ahead and give a quick ring to my work address again and we hear the loud noises. Um, see, so keep track of this iOS 12 battery too. Mine right now is at 17. I'll show you guys through intervals of the video. Um, this one's just, you'll be able to see it, 98. One annoying and actually scary bug is when you're in a FaceTime call. I love that animation, by the way, where it shrinks down. That's awesome. Anyway. So, this annoying bug is when you're, this is actually kind of scary. 
So when you're in FaceTime, you do a FaceTime, you go home sometimes and just mess around and do some stuff. Wow. Wow. And we do some stuff, like sometimes you'll go into the menu, then the other person will end the FaceTime call right as you go into the menu. Your phone will like, it'll go into the calls if it's still in there. You could shut it off, which will fix the issue. But if you turn it back on, you'll notice, oh, it's working perfect. Then you'll go into your any corresponding app. It will probably reload. And you can even go like this and restart it, click it off, click it in, click it out, click it in, click it out, click it in. Do the power off menu to close out your apps. And at this point, you guys are like, it's going to work. Watch me. What? Well, guys, you're wrong. Because look, you won't, oh, it's, look, I'm just doing that, but you won't be able to move your app. It will freeze. Even your settings app, if you wanted to just respring the thing, it will not work. It will not work. It won't, well, I'm doing this, but it won't go like this. It'll be like this. No matter what you try and do, what you try and do, only thing that'll work is your home screen. And the app library freezes too. Like you can't press anything in it. So... I want you guys to, all you want to do, hold your power and the volume up. You'll go into a slide to power down menu. Do not swipe your medical ID if it's here. What this will do is it will really mess your device up. You will not be able to get out of this menu and therefore the power down menu will not come up. So what you'll have to do is wait for your iOS device's battery to die. But if it's in low power mode, it's not going to turn back on if it's off. So what's going to happen is that your device is going to have to wait until it dies. So hopefully it's low at this point, at the point that you may need to do this. Um, that's why I kind of keep mine low just in case anything happens. Anyway, guys, the two iPhones here. You guys want an iPad OS full-on video? Comment below. So we're going to do some opening on apps. Obviously, with the gestures, it's a lot faster. And just the home button makes things slower. I can obviously even that out, but you're, it's just going to save you hours throughout your life. This will save you a ton of time. Just going like this, clicking home buttons. And I know it's not the same app, but we're going to do messages. And I think I already that's not fair because I already had it open. So we're going to go home. We're going to go to messages. As you can see, the, the Pro just booms it. Um, let's try and do that on the iPad too. Not the iPad 2. The iPad 2. Not the number 2. Okay, so we're going to go home. So there's the messages icon on the iPad. We're going to try and click these all at the same time. Oh, off. It might take me a couple tries, guys. Whew. Yeah, I can't really accurately get that. Um... You probably know what's going to be faster. The 6 is just an old phone. Get it off the list. Um, ah, I don't do that here, guys. It's just an older phone. People still use this phone, which is okay, obviously. It's nice. It's fast. No, it's not fast. Please just do yourself a favor and get an upgrade. So if I FaceTime myself... So there's my ringtone. It's um, it's an auto turn down if it realizes I'm here. We're gonna accept. Let's do it. Now it's like really loud. So let's just end that. Now I'm not gonna call this one because it's gonna call the device I'm recording on, and I do not want to do that right now. Okay, next bug. Going into camera. And on iPad, in the um, spotlight, will sometimes do the slide to power off menu. So I have this bug a ton. And, and it's not because my power button is getting clicked. It's not because of toggle in the settings. It's just not. So, because um, I swipe and I swipe and I swipe. But every time, watch, I'll do it again, right in the same menu, the default menu. In the home screen, it won't do that. But right as I do it sometimes, it will do it. And this is good timing that I actually got it in the video because this is one iPad OS. But now we're done with iPad OS. 
just drop that on the ground. We can slide in our phones again. So one issue with iPhone, again, is that one, which is kind of stupid. But if you do need an easy respringer, that's a good respringer because it resprings your device quick. Now, what we're going to be talking about is over time how your device will go and how it will work and what it's like when it disables things like this. Your phone is disabled. Oh, how did I enter my password right, guys? That's kind of creepy. So that's weird, too. It does have a weird glitch. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to enter our password wrong too many times. It says, try again in a minute. And this is just because I got the password wrong too many times, obviously. And you notice you can't unlock. There's no lock because it's just, you know, just not going to allow that. Because it's just disabled. It's like, hey, let's do it on this phone. And this, this isn't any different if I just keep entering random passcodes. This iPhone disabled. Try again in one minute. So we're going to wait for these two, and while these two are disabled, don't be freaked out of this, guys. They will undisable. Just enter your password right. Um, let's check out some Find My. So if I zoom into our devices here, um, the one device that, the only device here that um, looks like the 10, which is mine, is here. Now you can see all the other devices. Mine is not disabled now, so what we're going to do Oh, I love doing this, guys. That haptic. Listen to this. Listen. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, I love that. So let's enter our code. Now, we are in the iPhone. So now say I want to ping my device in the Find My app. We're gonna do it. So let's play sound and it says connecting. I can't show the address. Can you hear it? So now I'll show you. So say you leave this under your couch or something or in the room. This is what happened to me once. I'm gonna play it, guys. So I was getting up ready to film a video on my phone. I had it here to film. Came in, I realized, oh, where is it? So I grabbed my other phone and here it is. All right, guys, so that was the clip I wanted to show you guys of earlier. So this is when I started this video and started to record. So, yeah, guys, one thing, too, is you'll see the home button is there, indicating that you can get rid of this without hitting OK and just swiping up your button. So swiping up your home button is very awesome when it comes to this because it makes things a lot easier. And when I say a lot easier, I mean a lot easier. Um, so, since I threw the iPad over here and the starting of the video, I'm going to grab it quick and show you guys something with Find My. So, in the iPad with Find My, you can see you got all your devices wherever you are. So, see the 11 Pro Max, watch that phone as it moves when it drops and raises now this is just simply the reasoning because your phone is at that elevation on the house so say it's glitched out right now but this ipad it thinks it's at the top of a house this this se this ipad it's kind of lower this six is lower than my thing my 11 pro max phone so if i get this phone and say Where's my iPhone? Sorry. Where's my iPhone? It will bring up my iPhone. One moment. Which model? iPhone 6 or iPhone SE? So you can pick your model. I'm going to pick the iPhone SE. I can't tell if Infinite 2's iPhone is nearby. 
Should I try to play a sound on it anyway? No. Okay. You can Definitely not, guys, because the device. SE is what I'm recording on. So if I do it on this iPhone, let's try it. Let's enter. This mic don't work, so I have to do this. I couldn't find anything called iPhone set up in Find My. What? Guys, did you just notice something? This iPhone is, I'm going to have to prove it now. This is an iPhone 6. Let me show you guys. It's not running iOS 13, but look what it just said. Find my, how does it even know what that is? It says open find my iPhone. Listen, where is my iPhone? Let me just tap that again. For God's sakes, guys, that's weird. Now it just froze. Did it just, did we just uncover something on the iPhone 6? We did. I'm gonna go. Yeah, it's frozen now, guys. It's bugged. Holy, that was weird, guys. It just said find my. Like it knows. No, let me try it on the iPad. Where is my iPhone? I found two iPhones nearby. Which model? iPhone 6 or iPhone SE? iPhone 11 Pro Max. Which model? IPhone I don't know 6 why my 11 Pro Max ain't coming up, guys. That's weird. It's the main phone. It's a little bit weird. It has two models nearby, which is this iPhone 6 and this iPhone SE, but my 11 Pro Max is nearby. That's weird. Um... One more bug on iOS, guys, is when you set your location to approximate on this right here. And I'm going to prove this further. If I see it says this iPad, I'm going to scroll through the list. And you guys will look. I have no other iPad that's white. Well, I do. It's right here, but it's offline. We're going to click this iPad that's online. It's just this iPad. And I'm going to cover the address. I'm going to prove this is real. It says this iPad. And that's not my address, guys. It's luckily bugged. Luckily, it didn't show my real address. So, um, that's pretty crazy. Now, I'm not going to go over to this street because I, that street is my actual address. So, um, zooming over and stuff, pretty good. That's it, guys. That's all I wanted to make for today's vid. That's a bug when you go to turn on approximate location. So if you turn your location to approximate, it's going to allow this app not to use your viewed. So it says I'm near Butte, Montana, and I am. <laughs> I could be on the freeway right now. I could be I could, I could, could be a lot of places right now, guys. I could be way over here but i'm literally not i'm literally like in this area so that's crazy guys um that's how you get your device your this your this device to show up in find my and that's it guys i don't need this either so let's just boom that and this we basically are done so all right guys see you guys in the next one peace